Hello again, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's Gospel Talk. This week, we're going to be celebrating the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time, wherever you choose to either watch Mass on TV or wherever you attend Mass, whether Saturday or Sunday. This week's Gospel is, once again, from the Gospel of John, and it has a very poignant story to tell and told very simply. So let us get on with it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Catharnum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you were looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. So they said to him, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A very poignant Gospel. And in this Gospel, Jesus again uses the analogy of of hunger and thirst in a way that stresses our need for him. We can't help but be hungry physically. Even hours after eating or drinking, our body craves food once again. But we're never spiritually satisfied until we keep receiving the spirit, much like we become satiated with the food that we eat every time we're hungry. We need to look for that spiritual fuel. We need to, to look for the continued sustenance that the spirituality and love of Christ enables us, gives to us when we participate and receive the Holy Eucharist. Now, there are sacraments that we only receive once in a lifetime, such as baptism, such as confirmation, hopefully marriage, and certainly the sacrament of the sick or anointing of the sick. But the beauty of the Eucharist is that we can receive this every single day if we attend Mass every day. But if we go to Mass every weekend, we can be spiritually renewed when we take that Eucharist inside of us. Many of us forget what we were taught, and perhaps we were not taught, but every time we receive Holy Communion and we ask God to forgive us for all of our venial sins, well, those venial sins are forgiven as soon as we take Jesus into our body. 
Yes, we should go to confession before receiving if we have committed a mortal sin. That is most necessarily an impediment if we do not go to confession before receiving. But for most of us who never commit any mortal sins, if we say a complete act of contrition and are sincerely sorry for what we have done, those venial sins will be wiped away once we receive Holy Communion. What a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for us to get closer to God and to feel cleansed and to feel worthy of being conduits of his and allowing his grace and love and peace and even words come through us to people whose lives we touch each and every day. The Eucharist offers insights into the hunger and thirst that we as humans have, not physical hunger, but spiritual, emotional hunger. The need to feel as if we're part of something larger than ourselves. The need to feel that we too are important in making this a better place to live and helping the word of God and the word of Jesus move forward into the hearts of those that are willing to listen. If you are looking for that spiritual renewal, if you are looking for your heart to be filled, if you are looking to be the greatest conduit you can be, all you need to do is receive the body and blood of Christ and you will no longer feel in need of that spiritual renewal. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I hope you get filled when you hear the gospel. I hope you hear the message that is specifically for you. And remember that everyone has a different message. There's not a right or a wrong way to decipher these words. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Please tell friends about us. We'd love to have more people watch. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Once again, God bless you.